For the first time in 30 years, the NFL's Pro Bowl not held at Aloha Stadium. Instead, it was played this afternoon in Miami. With the loss of the Pro Bowl this year and the series lost in its final season, KITV's Shane Enright reports on the economic impact to the state. As host of the Pro Bowl, you can count on game day being payday. The Pro Bowl traditionally brings in about $28 million into our economy. But not this year. Florida cashed in today with the game selling out. A tough loss for Hawaii, says Hawaii Tourism Authority President Mike McCartney. But the NFL has agreed to bring the Pro Bowl back to Hawaii in 2011 and 12. We've had a long history with them, 30 years. It's part of who we are. It's part of who they are. The NFL's absent this year is being felt by businesses who count on the boost during this typically slower month. I know guys that haven't missed one Pro Bowl uh, since it started, but not where they are in Miami. Waikiki usually fills up during Pro Bowl weekend with football fans, but without it, businesses down here may be taking a hit. They may be specific hotels that um, are very used to booking the Pro Bowl, um, the officials of the NFL. Um, they may not have that business this year. To fill the void, the state says it's concentrating on other venues, including the Hawaiian music industry, to bring cash into the economy. Adding to the state's losses is the end of ABC's hit series Lost. Last night, the show's premiere event in Waikiki garnered international attention. It has been a revenue generating function that has created jobs and, of course, markets us around the world. But with cuts to the state's film budget, word of mouth is one of the state's greatest tools for advertisement. I think they'll go back to Hollywood and different places and they'll spread the word uh, that we uh, are a great location to do a, a great series here. Shane Enright, KITV4 Island Television News.